Today, I'm making golf trophies. So I've got my design loaded up. And here is the piece of wood I'm going to be using. So let's make sure that it's ready to go. Right, let's get that started. You're about to see that I didn't have my design made correctly. So this is the practice piece. Here's how the correct ones turned out. Now I'm going to take these to the bandsaw and rough cut the shape. Now that these have been rough cut, I'm going to use my router to cut the final shape using a pattern I've made on my laser machine. This is the outline of the golf ball, and I'm going to use this as the pattern with the router. Here I'm using double-sided tape to secure the template to the piece. So it's here I realise that my router bit is not long enough to do the cut in one go. So what I need to do is sand off all of the excess to get closer to the template. Now all I need to do is flip this over and repeat. After finishing this, I noticed that the circles closest to the edge were starting to break away. So I decided to use a roundover bit to try and fix this. So here's how the top of the trophy looks, with the round over cut on both the front and the back. I quite like it. At this point, if you are still watching, hit the like button, subscribe, leave a comment, do all those good things. Thanks. So now we're moving on to the base and I thought a stepped design would look quite good with this trophy top. Now I've got the base and the trophy, I just need to stand the bottom of this to fit into there, and we should be good. So now that's in there, I've actually decided this base is way too big. I was going to cut these edge pieces off anyway to finish it off, but I'm just going to stick with these three in the middle and see how that looks. This is what they look like together. Much better with a smaller base on there, I think. There is a second trophy that I need to make for closest to the pin. This is the first time I'm using this bit, but I think it's going to work really well. That cut was a bit fast, but it's come out looking really well. So far, looking good.
I really like how these fonts work together. Here, I'm just applying some clear beeswax. And I thought the contrast of a different coloured base would look really good. I'm really happy with the way that these have both turned out, so let's get them glued together. So here are the trophies. I've had a good time making these. I would definitely change a couple of things with the design, a couple of minor things that just help it go together better. Um, but I'm pleased overall. And here is the award for closest to the pin. I like this one.